I'm ready, my backpack is ready, we're going. First stop, I'm in Deutschland now. I get here only with three rides and this is like crazy. The second ride that I get, I didn't even have time to, to tell you about it, but that was like completely crazy. I was waiting for that ride 19 fuck you don't see this but 19 seconds 19 seconds I have this watch only to measure how much time it takes me to get a ride <laughs> and it took me 19 seconds and that's not all the guy pulls over I was on a bus station and he pulls over and he's driving a cabrio or no cabrio and like he pulls over I bent to talk with him and to ask which way he's going and I immediately can smell weed and I'm like mm, did you just oh okay okay and he's like okay get in and we start start driving first thing he 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 does uh, when I just click my belt he takes out a joint and he's and I'm just like hearing the the lighter and I'm looking at him and he's like with with the lighter with the joint and I'm like wow and he's like want some and, and that was awesome now I'm in uh, Germany in uh, on a gas station I'm gonna take a rest have something to eat it's already three o'clock and I have like two hours to, to my destination so it's gonna be okay I I think that I will be there around six o'clock maybe seven there will be still uh, light outside so I will have time to find some place to sleep because one guy asked me uh, if I have anything uh, figure out for sleeping and I said yeah I have a tent in my backpack and he was like what <laughs> awesome also this is my very first auto stop solo trip with the backpack because normally when I was uh, driving by auto stop I was um, driving with someone or if I was alone then I was like making 30 40 kilometers just to go home not to sleep somewhere and this is the first time that I'm also gonna sleep alone in a tent because I was always was sleeping with someone or I was on Woodstock and I was sleeping by myself in my tent but there were like thousands of people around me so I wasn't alone like the way I would be here for example if I would just make a tent here but I'm in Berlin people so what you can see beside me here this is my place to sleep tonight and now I need to find some place with food and drink because tomorrow shops are closed so everything has to be on point tonight and it's also six o'clock and uh, okay so I will find a shop and then I will find a good place to sleep there oh my fucking god is it really when I want to sleep tonight I can smell weed here <laughs> maybe from these guys Everybody are having fun here. Everybody having a beer. Our kids. Our kids and a beer. There's even a map of this place. So I'm currently have no idea where I am. Somewhere here. 80s. And this used to be airport.
Can you imagine this was the airport in the middle of city and now people are having fun and grilling and other ones have this and there is I think the old like airport building I suppose this is just awesome and before I came here everybody told me that Berlin is awesome and beautiful so my opinion so far I agree keep that on mind that in uh, real life and on a trip first duties then the pleasure so firstly we are finding some place to sleep and then we are gonna drink my beer So it's um, 7 o'clock now and it's been an hour, I'm here and I will go that way. It's not so dark now, it's just the lighting. So yeah, I'm still looking for some place to make my tent here. I think that's gonna be my bedroom tonight, So, but I'm still gonna search i see some bushes over there and there are still plenty of people so i'm not gonna make a tent now i will just sit on the grass and charge my phone and wait finally i took my shoes off <laughs> and this is polish cider in berlin hello so now i'm gonna charge my batteries and charge my phone's battery so i'm gonna eat rest and wait until those people go away oh, i forgot one thing whoa cheers so far i have spent 362 in Germany and 130 in Poland just for a bus ticket. I ate my dinner. I'm still drinking my cider. There is less and less people here and I am starting to consider anything making a tent here like not exactly here like there and because it's getting cold here and there are not so many people and I have nothing to do So this is where I slept tonight and now we are going there and because I saw their toilet so I'm gonna brush my teeth and we are going to sightsee Berlin. I'm a little bit afraid that I won't find anyone who would like to take my backpack for a few hours so I could visit without him. So that's my biggest like concern. That I will have to sightsee with this. We will see. Something's going on here all the time. Seems like the boys are about to play here again. Thank you for having me tonight, Tempelhoferfeld. 
cook with her. We are rich and there are only Audis and BMW and that's not true. So quick resume, you remember my big concern that I won't find any place to uh, just leave my backpack and go to visit Berlin without it. I don't have it anymore. So I found a Polish bar and I asked them if I can leave my backpack but the lady said no. Uh, but there was a customer who was speaking with her and he was also Polish and he said to me that nearby like 20 meters away there's a also Polish uh, library, Polish bookstore, sorry. And uh, he went with me to the bookstore and he asked for me if I can leave this uh, backpack there and lady was like whatever leave it and I have time to 6 o'clock until they close the bookstore so I have whole day without my backpack to visit Berlin and I'm so happy and those people were very very generous and very nice and I'm happy Exactly 24 hours ago I was in Opole and I was in a bus I think I was driving to get out of the city to start catching and now I'm going to the center of Berlin I already saw three guys with a beer I'm very close to open mine <laughs> Is there a better place to chill than in the middle of a bridge? I don't think so. Quick creepy story time, I just sat on a bench like next to this fountain and the guy just sat next to me and I was like okay he's only sitting here but I was like looking like seeing in his movement that he's about to like talk to me and stuff like this and he asked me firstly to make him a photo of him next to this fountain so I did and then he sat next to me and he started talking to me and stuff like this and he asked me like if I was in France and I said that I was in Paris and he said that we should go together to Paris and I was like mm, not gonna happen and then he was like asking me to go for a beer with him and stuff like this and I know that many guys are doing stuff like this and we girls are very like we are feeling that we have to be nice to those guys, but why? Why should I be nice to a guy who's making me feel uncomfortable and I have trouble with telling him no just because I want to be nice and I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't want him to feel bad. Like he is already making me feel bad. So why should I care about his emotions? So I just stand up, I said, to him. I didn't say like fuck off. I just said that I will go now visit more and I just say bye and turn around and I went and he was like uh, uh, uh. and I never see this guy again so listen girls don't be afraid to say no if you start saying like ah no because or 
I have a boyfriend or I'm busy or something you don't have to excuse yourself say no and walk away and I don't even know what that is, to be honest. But this is a very touristic place. Sorry. Sorry. This is for sure a place for me. We're going there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. No photo. They don't look homeless, they look tired. And that's for free guys. I think I, I was the only woman who get there without any man dragging her there. <laughs> so many people. So many people everywhere. I'm tired of this. I'm slowly going back to the place I left my backpack. I'm gonna eat something and just rest. Okay, before I forget, uh, Berlin is the first city actually where I uh, met Pol Polish people everywhere actually. Uh, second of all, uh, you can drink beer here, whatever you want, not only in a park. And also, you can smell wheat everywhere as well. And there are some people doing yoga in the park so and also whatever you do people just don't care if you have a backpack if you're talking to yourself to camera um, they don't care it's a very friendly city very nice very green highly recommending to you I think that my channel and traveling overall is more about discovering green places in big cities. So 
I'm slowly getting back to the place where I left my bags and the biggest obstacle today was actually not leaving my bag there but my hip which hurts me all day and it's not really nice to walk a few hours with a hurting hip so I think it won't surprise anyone who knows me that I just took completely opposite way that I should go so I went there for like half hour where I actually have to go that way so typical me the best part is that I'm all into this trust your gut thing like when your intuition is telling you something you should do it and my gut was telling me check the map check if you are actually going the right way and I was like nah trust your gut and I was just continue going that way and now I'm like that was my gut to check the map because I was going wrong way another grill party here there are so many people on this side and that's So I was passing this place when I was when I just left my backpack here and now I'm having dinner here for only 450 I think And I'm back to the same place. I'm gonna sleep in the same place and tomorrow I'm leaving home. Okay, so thank you Temple Hof for having me again. Bye Berlin!